Hello, everyone. My name is Vernisa. Hey, y'all. This is Jen. And this is our podcast, Speak, Speak Up. Up. What's up, Jen? Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. We made it to episode 11. Mm-hmm. This one's called Keeping It 100 with Mental Health. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, this is our podcast. Me and Jen are best friends, and we use this podcast to use our voices to motivate people to overcome life challenges through self-love and respect. Mm-hmm. You know, as we've mentioned before, um, self-love is very important, and it's important to spread it, as we've mentioned in other episodes, too. But with this one, we're going to focus specifically on self-love on your mental health. Yes, I love it. So, you know, as Jen said, our title is um, Keeping It 100 with Mental Health. So, in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, we decided to end the month, or, you know, post beginning of the next month, with an um, episode dedicated solely to mental health. Mm-hmm. So, um, we want to start with, you know, basically with mental health, we feel like it's very um, underrated today. It's not talked about enough. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's very essential that, you know, you recharge yourself before you burn out. We're in a time right now where it's, we're busy doing many things. Like we're working a lot, you know, we're, you know, traveling, trying to like, you know, do too many things at once that it's easy to get to the point where you end up burning out. And when you burn out, you're not performing your best. Yep. So we, right now we want to focus on the main idea of recharging before that happens. Yeah. Like you said, you know, a lot of us live busy lives. We're always talking about, um, you know, taking no days off and do things when you don't, even when you don't want to. And yes, while I agree definitely with all of these things there comes a point where you know your body physically cannot like if you feel like you're literally straining yourself to do something maybe it's time to take a little break i'm not saying don't come back to it ever i'm not saying that this makes you a weak person on the contrary like sometimes when you focus on something too much your brain gets fried you know so you're actually doing more harm than good and like nini was saying you know you end up burning yourself out pretty much yeah, I understand the whole idea that time is of the essence, which is very, very extremely true. But in the day, it's it's all about quality mm-hmm. because if you're ripping and running, you know, you're not going to move as fast as you normally would if you're recharged. Then you can do your best work and things will get done properly. Yeah, definitely. You actually end up wasting more time when you don't feel good because you, let's say like you're, you know, acting or something. You have to end up doing more takes because you're not feeling well or something. So versus you being recharged, it's like, all right, I got this. Maybe it's a one take, two take hit, and then I can move on to the next task. Like, it's the same thing with anything else in life. You know, so time is of the essence, but you also deserve your time. You know, just being you. Yes, all of it is very essential. Like, I want to get to a personal example. Like, me recently, I had to go ahead and take a day off work. I was working, you know, seven days a week, you know, um, really wearing myself. I'm like, I could do this. You know, I'm young. I ain't got no kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I have no one to report to. So, you know, I'm ripping and running. Although, yeah, at first it was working. I was jumping around doing this here, here, here. And then it's like, I wasn't just worried about work. I'm building businesses on Mm -hmm. the side. I'm, you know, doing a lot of networking. I'm doing a lot of events with my family. There's a lot of things that I have on my plate. But, I, you know, I'm driving a lot. You know, so I was just going around, da, 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 da. but you know what ended up happening, you guys? I ended up getting sick, you mm-hmm. know, c- catching a cold because I wasn't getting enough rest. So I had to take a day off forcefully because it's not that I wanted to. Yeah, there's money right there, but day I had to say, wait a minute, take care of myself. Exactly. I took the whole day to lay in bed, get my mind right, eat, eat a healthy meal and stuff, and I started feeling better. And it was because my body was needing the rest. That's mm-hmm. why it's important to discipline your ass to get some rest. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, you know, just because you're physically somewhere doesn't necessarily mean you're mentally there. Like you were saying, you know, that, okay, you were going to work seven days a week, but you're also building stuff on the side. You're talking to various people. Your mind is continuously in like 10 different places all at once. So physically, yeah, your body can handle it. I can get up at four o'clock in the morning, get to work by six, you know, go home by 9 p.m., do this all seven days. But mentally, your brain is not getting any type of rest because although you're at work all day, you're probably, you know, doing doing some things on your phone with other people, you're talking to people physically in person, you know, like you're constantly working that brain. So, you know, your brain is like, oh, hold up. I, and to be honest, like your brain uses the most fuel in your body, right? So it ain't just physically that you're burning all the nutrients, it's your mind. So yes, you got to discipline your ass to rest because that's part of your self-development process. You have to actually take the time for yourself and recognize, okay, maybe if I just take a power nap or if I actually get my eight hours of sleep or however much we need these days, I don't even know. Um, you're going to be a better performer at the end. 
I want to take some time to say this. Like, do you ever catch yourself getting random headaches? Mm-hmm. Can't, you know, having the, the, the urge to not focus? All that comes from you not getting rest, mm-hmm. believe it or not. Because whatever our mind is going through, it's, it starts to take that toll yeah. on our body. And that's that's not a good look where you start feeling physical symptoms for what, mm-hmm. your, mental, what your mental sanity is going through. Yeah. So that's why it is important to get your rest and eat proper meals. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, you were mentioning with this week, you were working at your job seven days a week I was going to the gym seven days a week but it wasn't just like 30 minutes here or anything it was like I was literally spending two and a half hours at the gym every single day yeah that sounds nice and everything but my body needed that break and I noticed that by Sunday um or rather Saturday like my body was just Jen don't do this anymore like we need a break you know because it's not healthy to do too much of anything, you know, just like they tell you too much water can be damaging for you, you know, as much as they recommend you to drink water, um, too much exercise is, you know, just too much, too much working yourself in general is not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. So, and it goes with the whole thing that we say too much negative energy, Mm -hmm. you know, in the day, there's a lot of negativity out there that we're seeing every single day and you have to even watch what you're putting into your brain Mm -hmm. so that that also goes into it because it's it's inevitable you're going to walk out the door you're going to see something but also be cautious of what you're letting in so that also means what you're putting in your body what you're putting into your brain Mm -hmm. all that into your soul all that matters yeah and you know we we've talked about the inner critic before how we tend to be the ones telling ourselves you know all these things in our head like you got to get harder you got to keep going blah 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 and all this stuff we tend to be the hardest people on ourselves you know so we already have all this pressure from the outside if you're creating your own pressure on the inside it's not going to work because then you're never going to feel like you're good enough. I'm not saying stop the process completely, never come back to it, forget your goals, nothing like that. But one moment of just relaxation of you being just you and not worrying about anything else is actually very healthy. And it's something recommended for your mental well-being. It's all about, too, like, not putting unreasonable standards on yourself. You know, we'll be like, oh, my goal this week is to do 100 this, 100, like, just these big-ass numbers that are actually impossible at that. And then when you don't reach that goal, you're beating yourself, and what do you do? You end up giving up because you're Mm -hmm. like, okay, I can't even do it. But you have to, it starts off with the baby steps. Okay, say I'm going to do this much, accomplish that, and then, okay, stretch yourself a little more, accomplish that, and do it, vice versa. Then you get better at something. Then you'll learn how to time manage better, and Mm -hmm. it won't seem like so much because it's, it's easy to put that extra pressure we already have enough things putting pressure on us today so the last thing you need is yourself doing that Absolutely. you have to learn to be patient with yourself yep. and today we're not perfect and we're still working on certain things with ourselves but you have to g- give yourself that time to adapt to certain things mm-hmm. yo even robots machines can't continuously work on something you ever had your laptop overheat on you because you got too many <laughs> programs running True. so how do we expect us to keep running like that you know like i don't know if you've heard that example before that your mind is like you know when you have seven tabs open and the music's playing somewhere in the background also like it, it's true, you know, we can continuously be thinking a thousand things at the same time, but we need that break to just close all those tabs at one point and just be like, you know what, I'm just going to be me right at this very point. Because, yeah, like you said, setting unreasonable standards for yourself, you're going to be disappointed every single time you don't reach something. But guess what? Maybe you just need to step back from that task for a little bit, do another task, and then come back to it. You know, that can be a form of rest also. So maybe you're not working on a specific hobby right now but you're working on your physical well-being that's a part of rest also or maybe you just need to take a damn nap that's fine too what i gotta say is in the day there is no amount of caffeine that'll make you complete those tasks so please do not give yourself unreasonable standards because in the day it does not work um, we want to touch on the fact that, you know, if your mind isn't right, the body will follow. Mm-hmm. So all that stuff will come with it. And you know, you know what, you, you can literally just pass out somewhere for being so that's overwhelmed. So yeah. I don't know if that's, that's happened to me before. Mm-hmm. Absolutely true. I mean, you and I were just talking about this, how, you know, like for me lately, I've noticed that whenever I get stressed or overwhelmed, like I'll start getting stress rashes. Like, I don't even know if that's what they're called, but it'll be like, a specific part of my body is just starting to itch like I'll get rash symptoms and everything and I'll notice it happens like in a stressful situation and this literally just started like I, I had never had this experience before but I have noticed that my stress levels have been going up and I do remember one time I got checked by a health professional and he told me 
that I tend to internalize my stress. Ooh. So sometimes, like, I'll get random stomach aches or, like you were mentioning, headaches. I get cluster headaches, you know, the ones behind your eyes sometimes. And I'll notice it's during times of high stress. And these were the physical symptoms that we were talking about where, like, if you're all cloudy in your head, you know, your body's just going to reflect all of that. Yeah, and it's not really good. And ladies, I want to say, too, it's very important you take care of your mental sanity because it could affect your period. Like, mm -hmm. you know, your period cannot come. Or it can make it come earlier. It could give you more intense PMS, you know. So all these things are something that, that it, it plays into. Um, also, I just want to get into the fact that, you know, one time I, I was, you know, going with this seven days a week. I burnt myself out so much that I was like, okay. I had went to work and then I was ripping and running. So I was like, I'm going to take a nice hot bath. So I took the bath and then like I started feeling dizzy. So I was like, okay. So, you know, I came out the bathtub or whatever. And then my body just collapsed oh my gosh. in the hallway. And like we have hardwood floor in our hallway. Mm -hmm. And like, thank God I felt my head fell on my arm. But I've never did that before. But I was like, that's when I realized, okay, you need to slow down. Yeah. You need to slow down. I laid down and stuff. And, you know, obviously I felt better once I got some rest. Like everything went away. I was mm -hmm. good. But... You guys, do not worry yourself out. Like, you know, me and Jen talk about these stuff, this stuff very seriously because this ain't the stuff we ain't been through before. It's stuff we, we, we really experienced and, you know, we think it's, you know, it's important to take care of these aspects of your life. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm stressed out, I tend to be more irritable too. Mm -hmm. And like, I take my frustrations out on the people closest to me, you know, not by on purpose or nothing but it's because I'm so overwhelmed by what's going on in my head or I can't understand what's going on that I just don't want to be near nobody I don't want to talk to anybody I don't want to be touched by anybody so I just kind of like snap at anybody who's near me and that's not in my character so yeah that like when Amy says this is stuff we've been through I've been that person where it's yeah. like I'm so overwhelmed it's like Jen who are you like you need to you know, come chill out for a second, like take a nap or, you know, just stop doing what you're doing, go for a run or something or just chill, you know, so that's why before I've talked about how like in my downtime, I like to paint my nails, I like to do face masks, all that stuff, like that's my moment to relax from everything else. And, you know, we're always promoting to you guys about like self discipline and being productive and time management, etc. And it's all very, very important. But you still need to remember you, you still need to take care of your mental well-being because that is ultimately the fuel for your body and if you don't have any fuel how are you gonna run in the day like that is the whole theme to our podcast mm -hmm. really taking care of you yourself mm -hmm. your self-love um it's almost like the snickers commercial like you're not you and you're hungry they that's have the so snickers true. and they're back to themselves so that's how it is with self-love if you're not giving yourself that which is that snickers you're not going to be you so you're going to be this like angry person that's you so know true. bowling on the floor all this mm -hmm. stuff, your body doing these weird things until you get that and you refuel and then you can come back and be mm -hmm. yourself again after having that Snickers bar. I like that. Snickers did a uh, mental well-being commercial without even realizing it, I think. Right? <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm just letting y'all know. That's so funny. Um, yeah, so you guys, what we're trying to tell you is do not let this world break you. You know, times of high stress are going to be coming. Like we've talked about before, life is going to throw things at you. We don't guarantee that, you know, practicing any of these methods or, you know, listening or, you know, taking care of yourself is going to make life any easier, but at least you'll be more stable to deal with certain things. You know, you'll have more, um, moments where it's like, okay, you know, there's nothing I can really control about it, but, I'm in control of my own emotions because I know who I am or I've gotten enough rest or whatever. You know, you just need to make sure that you're actually taking care of what's going on up here in your head. Because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to manage anything. Everything's just going to end up stressing you out. Everything's going to make you mad. You know, so <laughs> this world is going to put you through some things and don't let it dictate how you react to certain situations. My coworker always says this world will break you if you let it. Mm -hmm. And it's very true because you, in, at the end of the day, you have to have that self-defense with yourself mm -hmm. through this. Because if, if you're not on defense mode, the world's just going to do what it's, what it's going to do. That's true. And that's why a lot of people have been driven crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, seriously. I mean, this is the whole point of mental health awareness. You know, like, um, me personally, I work with a lot of mental health patients. You know, that's the focus of my work, honestly. Um, so... You know, we're always teaching them, like, you got to take a step back from things. And it helps me also in the process because 
we're also reminding ourselves that we can't become overwhelmed by things, you know, like, yes, things will continue happening and stuff, but you got to do the daily self work. Like you got to be building up the strength in your mind. Your mind is like a muscle, you know, so they promote or, you know, fitness gets promoted as like, oh, you want muscles, you want to be fit, you need to continuously go to the gym. It's all about consistency. Well, same thing with your mental well-being. You got to continue to build it every single day. It's not about if it rains, it's when it rains. Mm -hmm. So why not have that brick wall ready? Mm -hmm. Because in the day, life's going to happen. So if you're not mentally strong, mentally prepared, yep. it's going to put you down. Yeah, absolutely. You got to build upon that resiliency. Like, you know, we keep saying bad shit is going to happen. You guys, you know, Nini and I aren't uh, prevented from, or pr protected, I should say, from, you know, all the bad things. She's had her rough times. I've had my rough times, especially in the past year. You know, but at the end of the day, like, like I've been practicing on my meditation, um, you know, self-help articles, um, basically things to stabilize me, keep me sane when I feel like I'm just becoming very overwhelmed. And, you know, at first I would hear like, oh yeah, meditate or practice relaxation techniques, whatever. But it wasn't until I actually started doing them, you know, consistently that I started noticing the difference that it does help to just chill out for a second. Like, even if it's only for five minutes, it makes all the difference. Yeah, and it's it's extremely true. Um, also, like, what are you telling yourself? That's mm -hmm. self-talk. Like, sometimes when I'm driving to work, like, and I'm feeling overwhelmed, I'll just have, like, a healthy conversation with mm -hmm. myself, like, saying, you're going to get it done, it's going to be okay, you know, I'll talk to God, you know. Um, also, like, you know, everything I do is for my siblings, my, my younger siblings, so, like, sometimes just calling them or, like, mm -hmm. spending time with them helps. Like, being around someone who makes me happy, yep. you know, just being earned, like, that alone time. Like, we always, to me, being alone is, like, my number one. Like, I feel like that's the go-to, mm -hmm. you know. But if you're in a point you can't be alone, just be around somebody you care about, yeah. you know, in that moment. Um, and, like, you know, like, the yoga mask, face mask, self-care, you know. Um, if you a girl, go get your nails done. Mm -hmm. You know, you do go get that haircut you want. Something yeah. to make you feel good. Shave your legs, ladies. Like and just lay in your mood. soft, in your soft, uh, in your soft blankets. Like mm -hmm. it's just there's the, it's those little things that make it. Or like have a nice meal. You know we work very hard. It's okay to like indulge and have you a moment and eat that meal you've been craving. Like mm -hmm. just something that'll make you feel good and make you happy and to let you forget about whatever you're going through in that moment. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like you were mentioning that you sometimes will call your siblings or something to feel better. There's nothing wrong with having a support system when you feel like you can no longer support yourself for that moment. Like. Um, if I'm not running to you, I run to my mom. Like, my mom knows pretty much everything that's going on in my life. Um, you know, I'll take her out sometimes, or she'll take me out. We'll have our girl-to-girl -girl talk. Like, you know, at that moment, she's not even my mom no more. Like, she's a friend, you know, with wisdom and experience. And she'll tell me, you know, her moments that she's had, you know, that are very rough. And my mom's had her low points, too. So hearing her stories and how she's gotten through the through it keeps me into perspective as well like it reminds me like okay this is normal but what's not normal is staying stuck in that you know irritation in the depression like that's not the healthy part you know the healthy part is standing back up from it every single time yeah and it's crazy because sometimes i'll just run off to your house jen and no one will hear from me for days but yeah. hey i'm getting my mind right you know i'm building that block mm -hmm. and you know just just reassuring that you are gonna make it through whatever mm -hmm. you're going through in the day god ain't gonna push you through something that you that you can't Amen. overcome and i learned that from you jen mm -hmm. and it's the truth so just take it as it is um, I, I love that quote um tough times don't last tough people do and it's extremely true because that stuff is temporary, but if you're tough, you're going to get through it and keep pushing through. Mm -hmm. And that's another good point. You know, I'm a huge quotes person. You're a huge quotes person as well. So sometimes you just need that little reminder, like, God does not give you obstacles you can't overcome. This too shall pass. Everything is temporary. Like, these little sayings, you know, I've heard them before, but now that I'm becoming who I am, um, they mean so much more to me. You know, and they're sometimes just that little uplifting moment that I need. So they come a long way, you guys. If you don't like to read all these books and, you know, long essays or whatever, get into quotes. I highly recommend them because it, they're that little piece of upkick that you need. You know, there's also the um, fall seven times but stand up eight. You know, that'll always remind you that, okay, you know, you'll have moments where you fail. You'll have times that... You know, you feel like, where am I going? What am I doing with my life? But you always got to get back up. I think um, Thomas Edison, he has a quote that says, um, I didn't fail. I just found a thousand ways that didn't work. Okay. And I feel like that's very important to remember, especially in times of high stress, because we tend to become 
fixated on what's not working rather than how much progress have we made, right? Or learning the lessons from the things that didn't work. Okay, now I'm going to do much better this time. And that's part of your stability, part of, you know, your da daily self-work, knowing that, okay, you know, yesterday's path didn't work, but today I'm going to try a new one. Yeah, and I just want to say, like, the most successful people, even people with the most anxiety, they have the most uh, setbacks. Mm-hmm. And it's very true because nothing's just going to automatically work. Sometimes that happens, but not all the time. Absolutely. And, you know, you have to tell yourself, you know what, I'm going to go another day. It's a blessing to just wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm. And it's like, remember, we all have a, a fresh 24 hours, so just use it wisely, really. Mm -hmm. Really, and make sure you're finding time for yourself in those 24 hours. Um, something me and Jen really wanted to touch on, too, is how, you know, mental health is very underrated. You know, we feel like... You know, you look at these magazines, you look at the TV, and, like, they talk about physical health. Oh, like, I got this banging body, you know, I'm all right with it, everything's good, da-da-da. No, like, that, even, although that's important, it's important to eat healthy, look right and stuff, you got to take care of your mental sanity first. And I feel like, I feel like that is the fuel so you can not have the drive to make those other things happen. Because, let's say you are overweight. If your mind ain't right, you're never going to get to that point where mm -hmm. you're like, F this, I'm going to lose this weight, I'm going to be healthy. Your mind, it starts with your mind. It's mind over matter mm -hmm. in the day. And we all have to be mentally strong in this world to accomplish anything. And that goes for your goals, that goes for anything that you're struggling with. Yeah. Or let's even take it as far as, okay, you've finally started losing weight, you've been in the gym, you change your complete your whole life around as far as physical fitness, but mentally you ain't done any work, so you just keep looking in the mirror and you keep seeing the, the same person you were a year ago or, you know, you're never going to be satisfied with the weight that you're reaching because you're not doing the mental work along with the physical work. That's why it's very important because you need to get to a point where you're okay with yourself. I'm not saying you got to, you know, think that you're the most amazing person on this planet. No, but you got to know I'm me and that is enough. And I feel like a lot of people are so scared to talk about mental health because mm. of the stigma attached to mental illness. But we're talking about mental health because we don't want this world filled with people who don't know who they are or who are too afraid to be alone or just don't even want to dig deep and you know, find the achy parts of their heart or the loneliness that they felt at that point because it's scary. Working on your mental health is probably one of the most terrifying experiences you can have. But once you start making it out on top, once you start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you're going to realize, I love who I'm discovering along the way, right? You know, like I had my moments specifically after college where I had to really start working on myself, finding my path. Who am I? What did I go to school for? You know, what do I want to do for the rest of my life? And I remember the most terrifying question for me was, what do you want to do within the next five years? Mm. Well, shoot, I had no idea. I just graduated college. I didn't even know why I studied what I studied, really. I just knew that I love studying behavior. I love learning about conversation, about people. And I knew I wanted to do something with that, but I had no idea. But I didn't allow myself to become overwhelmed by the unknown. You know, I just knew that if I did the work within myself, I was going to be led down the path that I was meant to. You really got to take the hints that life throws at you. Like, mm -hmm. in the day, nothing's going to be flat out put right there right. you have to really seek it yourself but when it comes to you go with it mm -hmm. understand what it is and also with something that you went through we can only numb things for so long you know like i've tried numbing so much pain but you know it just makes it worse because when it finally does un unnumb itself it hurts more yeah so that's why it's important to take the time for that like I want to say with mental health, too, like, I really wish, like, there were more events that mm -hmm. touched upon it, like, more workshops, more things where people could come together and talk about it. Like, you know, you know, there's always fitness events, this and that, but mm -hmm. there's never, like, I feel like people don't ever feel like they're in a safe, healthy space where they can talk about their problems. Or, like, to go to, like, some therapists, it costs, like, you know, some people can't afford to go mm -hmm. see a therapist. Like, I really wish there was more free, you know, I mean, um, I, I can't wait to the future, Jim, where me and you can hold, me and you can hold workshops like that right. so people could have healthy conversations about whatever they're going through. Mm -hmm. Because mental health is important, and I feel like it's the best when you have that group to connect with. Because mm -hmm. some, my, whatever I'm going through might be different from what you know, Sheila's going through right. or whatever, you know, and it's like, we probably can't relate, but when you have that healthy group that people that came from the same place or are going through something similar, it's mm -hmm. easier to let it out. Yeah, and you bring up that great point mm -hmm. of, you know, knowing that you're not alone in this whole thing. Like, just because our stories are different, the emotions might be the same. We might be overwhelmed. We might be sad. We might be frustrated with what's gone in our past or what we think the future is going to look like or if we're even going to have a future. You know, so knowing that someone else might have the same type of fears or the same type of emotions towards the future or however you're feeling, 
it's, you know, uh, how can I say, it's comforting to know that someone else understands you, you know, and yeah, like you said, I wish there were more workshops like that or events in general where people can just talk to each other. I'm not saying pretend to be therapists, you know, pretend to counsel each other or nothing. You know, I deeply respect the licensed professionals because I work with a few of them and they are amazing, you know, but it's sometimes nice to just talk to a stranger, you know, who you don't have to pay and you can just vent about your situation. And maybe if they can, you know, provide some sort of comfort, even in, you know, consoling you, letting you know it's okay or it's going to be okay. Sometimes that's all you need to hear, right? So I wish there were more safe spaces like that. You know, people need to realize that mental health is a serious thing, especially with, you know, these younger generations growing up, um, they feel like they got to do everything by themselves or like um, they have no one to turn to because no one understands them or whatever. Like that's a dangerous feeling because the more lonely you feel, the more reckless your behavior can become in the future. That is so true. And people underestimate the power of talking. Sometimes Mm -hmm. just talking it out really can help a lot. Like, you know, me and you, Jen, we have really good, long, healthy conversations, mm-hmm. and that really what helps us heal. Sometimes it's you just listening to what I got to say, or me listening to what you got to mm-hmm. say, you know, and I really wish, like, more, you know, jobs held more of those, those, um, you know, mental health awareness yeah. schools, you know, especially college, like, nobody understands the stress that college students go through, like, it's a whole nother level of stress for such a young age, like, you know, we started college at what age, 18, mm-hmm. we don't even know ourselves, but going through that amount of stress and that small amount of time, mm-hmm. it was a lot, you know, and you see people like committing suicide and things yeah. happening because, you know, we're already dealing with your education, things you're dealing with with school, and then you still got to worry about your home life, yeah. things that your parents call you about every now and then. And it's like, it's a lot. Mm-hmm. So it's like, we all need a place to, like, get our mind right and get it together. Yeah. And I think that's the shitty part about it because safe spaces are not promoted. Like, I don't know about you, but in college, I had no idea we had a counselor on site until mm-hmm. our last year, mm-hmm. you know, so the entire first three years, I was like, I got to get through this shit, you know, with you or alone or whatever. I had no idea that there was actually counseling services provided on campus. Why? Because nobody wants to talk about mental health. And I think that's the first step to get this out there, letting people know that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to start, you know, feeling overwhelmed and feeling like, you know what, this isn't right. I need to do something about it and I want to say that just because like yeah you're not labeled as you know diagnosed with something doesn't mean you don't have to take care of your mental health Mm -hmm. because in the day there's a thin line between you know between being diagnosed with something you know and um all of that goes hand to hand and that's is something that we that is a plant we have to water every day Mm mm-hmm yeah Um, So all in all, you guys, we just want to fight the stigma on mental illness, mental health in general. I feel like we need to become more educated. For me, this is a very personal topic because, like I said, I work with a lot of individuals who have been diagnosed with mental illnesses. And, you know, it's not a good feeling thinking that everybody's talking about you or whatever. But these are honestly some of the sweetest people I've ever met. Like, Mm -hmm. I adore these patients. I look forward to seeing them. Um, grow and talking to them every single day but you know it's not just about the people who have been diagnosed with mental illness it's about the rest of us as well like being aware of our mental health where am I at you know is something not feeling right within me mentally emotionally physically because all of these um, things tie together you know your emotional health your me- your mental health yeah your physical health all of it has to do with you entirely. Your body is your temple. Your mind is your temple as well. So it all ties in together. Yes, definitely. So please cherish it. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Love yourself, really. It starts with that. Once you love yourself, you're not going to allow anything else to knock you down. Absolutely. So you guys, we really, you know, are very serious when we talk about these topics. But thank Mm -hmm. you guys for tuning in again. Um, Thank you for checking out episode 11. We appreciate you guys. Check us out on Instagram at, um, at speakupjv. Um, subscribe to our youtube channel go ahead and like and comment um and check us out run them numbers up thank you guys again we love y'all thank you guys so much we love each and every single one of you we'll talk to you guys next time take care bye